What's that? Uh -oh. oh, I think an A. <laughs> an A for Dr. Clyde, wouldn't you? I think that's probably all right. A minus. <laughs> Muppet song. Remember the Muppet show? Some of you remember that. The Muppeteer was John Henson. The original pilots for that in the U.S. 1974 and 1975 were an absolute failure. So what Henson did was go over to England. He found a studio in northern London, and they produced the show over in England. And he was doing well over there when the FCC decided that the networks had to bring on some non-network shows in order to balance what was being produced by the networks. Sort of an antitrust thing. So then they brought the show from England over, and the Muppets took hold and never stopped. Theme song is credited to John Henson and Sam Podal. Here we go with the Muppet song. decided to play this when the Brewers were out of town. <laughs> but they're winning. It's really exciting when Rodriguez comes in as a relief yeah. pitcher, a save. Every time, every save's exciting. Last night, 3-1, first batter, home run, then he finds his way out of it. Anyway, take me out to the ball game. It was written in 1908 by two men who didn't see their first baseball game for 20 years after them. They were riding in New York City on the subway. They saw an ad for the New York Giants game in the polo grounds. It says the game was to be played today, so they decided to write the song, and that's what became popular. Now, in the words, in the song, the boy asks the girl for a date, and her reaction is, she says, I'll only go if we go to a baseball game. Now there's a girl with a future.
extreme season. <laughs> Tijuana Brass. Remember the Tijuana Brass? You're ready to sing, aren't you? Join in this one. Herb Albert organized the Tijuana Brass in his garage, which he made into a recording studio. Herb Albert went to Mexico, went to Tijuana, Mexico. He saw the bullfights. He liked the mariachi music, and he brought it back as the Lonely Bull. Now, interesting part about that recording, that recording consisted of Herb Albert's trumpet overdubbed several times and a recording of the crowd that he put in it. So he was doing well with his mariachi band and Tijuana band until they wanted him to go on the road and it was tough for him to present himself all by himself with all these recordings. So he had to hire some studio players to put the band together in 1964. None of them were, were Hispanic, but he described the makeup of the band as three pastramis, two bagels, and one American cheese. <laughs> Here we go, Spanish flea, you remember that? Whipped cream, the lonely bull you do remember. And Tijuana taxi, Tijuana brass. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean it'll be about right. I can tell a joke, but then anybody would leave. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we are. Right, right, right. Blowing us out of the box. <laughs> 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 